Shalom Israel. Welcome to another installment of Practical Knowledge. I am Priest Abuwan of the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohanna. And today's segment is going to be entitled, From Whence Comest Thou? That's inspired from Job chapter 2, verse 2. Let's take a look at Job chapter 2, verse 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Now, you may be wondering at home, why is this brother bringing up this scripture? The reason why I'm bringing up this scripture is because Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians have to understand the role of Satan himself. The role of Satan himself is to destroy us as a people, to keep us away from the almighty power. And there are many ways that he is able to do so. First Peter chapter five, verse eight, be sober and vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. It is Satan's job to devour you, to devour your spirit, to keep you away from the Most High, so the Most High won't be on our side. That's Satan's job. That's what Satan was created to do, to be the adversary. That's what Satan means. What are some of the ways that Satan can distract you or Satan can beat up your spirit and keep you away from the truth? Smoking weed, selling drugs, buying drugs, being an alcoholic, lying, lasciviousness, pornography, depression, low self-esteem, lack of faith. All of these things are Satan's playground. All of these things Satan uses against us to keep us down, to keep us oppressed. You understand? And it's important for us as Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, when we come into the truth of the Most High, that we put off these things that kept us from the Most High in the first place. See, we want to be near to the Lord. The Bible tells you in James that if we draw nigh unto the Most High, the Most High will draw nigh unto us. And the only way we will draw nigh unto the Lord is if we shed ourselves of the person the Most High was not pleased with. The Most High was never pleased with, with us being pimps and whores, with us selling drugs and being drug dealers, and us doing all things abominable, eating things abominable, eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster in the sight of the Most High. All of those things are against God. If you want to be delivered in a time where deliverance will be needed, it's time for you to put off the old man. It's time for you to start keeping these law, statutes, and commandments. Because Satan, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. But the Bible gives us the recipe on how to combat Satan, on how to overcome our temptations, overcome the things that make us weak, the things that we're weak to how to overcome it. This is Ecclesiastes 18 and 30. Go not after thy lust, but refrain thyself from thine appetites. A lot of our people, a lot of us as Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, Guatemalans, Puerto Ricans, and Dominicans, etc., the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, we suffer from going after the things that make us feel good. Well, we should stay away from the things because you think getting high feels good. You think being high off crack and, and meth and speed and doing shrooms, it feels good to you. But little do you know you are offending the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's stop offending the Lord. Let's, let's reverse our situation. Let's get out of hell. But we're not getting out of hell. We're not getting out of the reservation. We're not leaving the prison system if we don't stop being sinners. Because the Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 1, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And we know according to Matthew, the fourth chapter, when Christ was tempted of the tempter himself, the tempter is identified as Satan. So it's up to us. If we want to be delivered out of this kingdom, we have to resist Satan and he will flee. Thus saith the Lord. That shalom.